sausage in curry. Mm. So, as you saw, a oh, little bit at the start, we've got, now I don't know how you pronounce the proper name, is it curry worse, curry worse, curry worse, curry worse to me, and common, I'll say, say it as it is, curry worse. It is smoked German pork sausage in curry sauce. From Lidl, they've at the minute got their Oktoberfest on, get down there quick, because once they're gone, they're gone, and they've got the Oktoberfest beers in as well. Do have to get one or two of them as well, as you do. Uh, so, currywurst, you basically whack it in the microwave, pierce the lid, two minutes, done. Or you can spend 10 to 12 minutes in hot water on the hob, you just put that in as it is. Yeah, microwave, all the way. And then also it says, Sliced smoked pork sausage in spicy curry sauce with extra curry powder in a separate sachet and a fork. It's all in there. To serve, remove film lid, stir sausage using the fork provided and sprinkle the curry powder on top. Sounds so easy, doesn't it? Once open, consume within two days. That's going down for my dinner. I'm looking forward to trying this. Let's see what it's like. Is it just basically tomato sauce with curry powder in it and then a sprinkling of curry powder on the top hmm be disappointed if it is but if it's not or even if it is it might still taste nice so if it does get down to Lidl's quick before they sell out because they don't stop long let's go and whack it in the microwave and see them so done now I wondered where is the fork and the curry powder? It's not in there. But then I noticed underneath, I can't tip it up because all the sauce will turn out, there's an indentation, today's big word, on the bottom. And in there, you find the curry powder and you find the little fork. <laughs> Hey, look at that, look at little fork. See little dinkly fork. So let's take this off. Now it's not curry sauce. Like it says, it's smoked sausage, but it's also a smoked sauce. Definitely got a smoky, sweet flavour. So let's put this on yeah it's mild curry powder as well I can't use that but well yeah you're supposed to ain't you they give you the little fork so let's use the little fork right that's what it looks like hmm intriguing so let's see it's not too hot. Comments in. It's a firm sausage. Yeah, it is quite firm. You know, you get the um, the ones in the jars that are like basically reformed, gunged up meat, and they're really soft and squiggy. And uh, this is not. This is proper firm. I can't say it any other way, can I? Very smoky that sauce. There's not a lot of the spice coming through from the curry powder. I would actually, if I were doing this on my own, we've got loads of chilies there. And as you know from the reviews, we've got loads of chilli sauces. For myself, if I have it again, I will put some chilli sauce in as well to give it a kick because there's no heat spice wise at all. But you don't always want hot hot and spicy. I know we do most of the time because we're idiots, but 
taste wise the sauce is really smoky but it's not sickly sweet it's smoky and it's sweet and that curry powder just adds a different depth to it and the sausage as I've already said it's a good firm sausage good quality it's, it's nice um, sauce is nice the sausage is nice I would have liked it a bit more spicy because it says in a well it's spicy it doesn't say hot I don't think it says hot anyway uh, it's on the bottom hang on no it just says in spicy curry sauce so it is what it says it's it's spicy more smoky and sweet than spicy I would like a bit of chili sauce put in oh, and grate some cheese on top as well and whack it back in for another minute so you've got cheese melting over it now you're talking that would be banging I can't do it because I've had half of these now while, while I've been testing it so what do I think now I've had nearly half of it that's what I think the sausage is good the sauce sweet smoky a little bit of spice there but not too much and it's all right what it says it's nice and um, yes I would get it again and yes it has got the thumbs up and yes next time I will sprinkle some cheese over and a bit of chili sauce and whack it back in for a minute and yes I will eat it it's lovely lovely banging go and get it now can't remember the price but it will only be there for about a week and again dinky little fork uh, it'll be there for about a week and then they sell out and they don't go back in it's like you know you know you're back now you know when you go Lidl's it's a weekly thing every Thursday they get different stock in Oktoberfest is on at the minute I don't know if that is just for a week but the beers don't seem to last long they're gone that's why I got mine this morning they're over there ready for this Saturday this will probably be the same once it's gone it's gone so get into Lidl's back of the store there's a little section where they have different nationality meats. It's normally Polish or Germanist, that sort of stuff. And that's where these are. What else can I say? It's exactly what it says. Sweet, smoky, a little bit spicy, and very yummy. Mm. We're doing on that. If you like this video and you like this channel, click the thumbs up below the video that you're watching now. Subscribe if you're not. Drop your comments in. Funnily enough, that's where it says comments. And that's all we ask of you. And we know that you're watching us. And I'm not talking to myself as I normally do. Hmm. See you later. Go and get this. You'll love it.